Simplify, list all restrictions on the domain. So on this one, we do need to clarify the domain. Um, but we'll also simplify it pretty much the same way that we have been. Okay. So we'll factor everything out of the numerator and denominator. And if there's any common factors, we're going to cancel those out. So we kind of have to choose, do we want to simplify first or find the restrictions in the domain? Uh, it's good to do that because then we're splitting it up into smaller problems, which may be a little bit more manageable. All right, so let's simplify this thing. So I got 4x plus 12, and both those are divisible by 2, but they're also divisible by 4. So I'm going to factor out a 4 from both of those. And what would I have left over? Uh, from the 4x, I would just have the x, and then plus 12 divided by 4 is 3. And the denominator, here I've got two x's and here I've got one x. So I know I can factor out at least an x from both of these. And what would remain from this first term, I took out one of those x's so I have another x left. And the second term, 3x, since we took away the x, I have a 3. Now this shows us pretty clearly what will be canceled out. We have two binomials that are same are the same in the numerator and denominator that they're going to cancel out because anything divided by itself is 1. And so we end up with 4 over x. So you guys seem to have chosen wisely because factoring first shows us right away what the denominator would be factored. So this is just for determining what the domain is, right? Because right now we know that f of x equals 4 over x, simplified. That's one of our answers. The last thing we need is the domain, which we should look at just the denominator, which right now, factored, we got x times x plus 3. But we just can't have that equal to 0. Now I've got an x and an x plus 3. If either one of those were ever 0, then it would tell us a value of x that would not work. So I can split this up. First, I'm just going to look at the x. Well, that's pretty easy to solve if I were to write this as an inequality. x cannot equal 0. On the other hand, though, I've got that x plus 3. If it were ever equal to 0, then it would give us an undefined function. So to solve this one, I would subtract 3 from both sides of the inequality, and we'll see that x does not equal negative 3. So writing our domain, we have x such that, just to simplify this, I'm going to say x does not equal 0, and x does not equal negative 3. And this would be the second part of that answer.